Dollar, ball, work it. Any type of situation, we work it. I don't have no doubt. Call, work it, work it, work it, work it, work it, work it. Work it. Praise the matchless, miraculous, exalted name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Truly, Jesus is God's Son and the Son of God. And we say Happy New Year to you as we celebrate the coming of 2021. We thank God for leaving 2020 and we look to the Lord for a renewed mind. We praise God for all of the things that we have transitioned through in everything. Give thanks this pandemic and all of the social unrest, all of the problems that we have witnessed in 2020. Now we, move, we are moving into 2021, and we just want to say Happy New Year's with a thanksgiving to our God. He's worthy to be praised. He's King of Kings, and he's Lord of Lords. And because you and I are still here, God has work for us to do to glorify his holy and everlasting name. Tonight, I want to challenge your hearts from the book of Galatians around the subject that our mission is to move into a new mindset. Our mission this new year is to move, amen, into a new Mindset. I'm in Galatians chapter 1, and I want to read part of verse um, 15. But when it pleased God, what a title. But when it pleased God, dealing with the sovereignty of Almighty God, amen. God is sovereign. He does what he wants to do. He's providential. He has a pinpoint time. Uh, associated with uh, our being, our living, our dying, and uh, we thank him. But when it pleased God, traditionally, the new year is, amen, a time of transition as we leave the old and cross over into the new. Traditionally, people tend to make promises, pledges, and propose resolutions. However, they seldom work. They never work because we are planning, amen, for something positive against the backdrop of something negative, the flesh, sin, habits, hindrances, hurts, history, and they... They tend to negate one another. That I can make a solemn pledge and not be able to keep it. I can say, you know, in this year I'm going to exercise more, I'm going to eat right, uh, my diets, my, my, my dedications, I'm going to go to church, I'm going to read my word, I'm going to pray. I, I, I can make these these. Uh, promises to myself, these pledges, these proposed resolutions, 
and they fall apart. Nothing happens because words, amen, cannot always move our wills and our wills are hindered, amen, by our worldly flesh. So people tend to keep things momentarily and then they fall apart, they become frustrated and, and they feel like a failure, they feel weak, they feel fatigued, uh, they lose their focus. And, and it's interesting that, that God, listen to this, God does not want us to make pledges and propose resolutions. God wants us to fall on his pity. His pity, his pity. God wants us to recognize, amen, certain things about God. And, and this is a faith walk. And the book of Galatians is Paul's treatise that the just shall live by their faith. It is mentioned in Hebrews. It is mentioned in Romans. It is mentioned in Habakkuk 2.4. The just ones shall live by their faith. Not by works, not by pledges, not by promises, not by resolutions, but by faith. We have to believe God, that God is going to do what needs to be done, but when it pleased God. I want to look at three things this evening as we uh, ready ourselves to enter a new year. And uh, the theme through Galatians is freedom. We are free in Christ. We're free to, to have faith, we're free to bear fruit, chapter 5. We're free uh, for dynamic fellowship, chapter 6. And, 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 and Paul uses the allegory in chapter 4, amen, of, of, um, of Abraham and Isaac and, and Ishmael as an allegory, so to speak, of uh, true faith versus the flesh that uh, Ishmael represents the flesh and Isaac represents the faith. Uh, Sarai, Abraham's wife, represents freedom and amen. Uh, 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 the, the mother of Ishmael, hanging in with me, represents flesh. Flesh and faith are in conflict, always. And the only thing we can do with all of our failures and lack of faith and lack of focus is to believe God. But when it pleased God. So one of the things that we will see here in Galatians is that it's through God's grace love we don't deserve. It's through God's grace that we recognize our faults and our failures. Now, 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 please let me stop, pause and part, but when it please God, God enables us to see ourselves for who we are. God enables us to see, amen, and not feel, but to see what we really are. We, we begin by grace to see ourselves. We see the need of a savior. We see the need of help. We see the need of healing. We see the need of someone getting us across the finish line. We cannot do this by pledging promises and proposed resolutions. We must walk by faith, listen, and we must, through grace, recognize our faults, our fractures, and our failures. If you don't do anything else going into the new year, start here. I am messed up. I'm wounded. I'm weary. I'm worn. I need help. That's the humility of grace. God wants us to understand the grace of the gospel, the grace of his guidance, the grace of his glory are all attached here in Galatians. So where do I start the new year? I start by humbling myself and saying, I'm wounded, weary, and worn. I'm messed up. I'm a failure. 
Uh, amen. I'm fleshly. And I need, listen to this, I need the grace of God so that I can recognize my faults, my fractures, and my failures. Paul deals with this grace, amen, which is a free gift of God. You can't earn it. You can't buy it. You can't pray for it. You can't worship it. It's given by God. That's why it's called amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was young, uh, I once was, amen, uh, I, listen, I once was blind, but now I see. Grace enables us to see what we don't want to see. Grace enables us to know what we don't want to know. And, and, and so Paul here in Galatians, but when it pleased God, deals with this matter of God's grace. Thank God for God's grace. But for the grace of God, there goes I. If it wasn't for grace, you and I be in hell. Grace brought you through 2020. When you wanted to throw the towel in, when you wanted to run out of the room, when you wanted to separate from your relationships, it was grace that held you in place. Thank God for his grace. Thank God for his grace. Thank God for his amazing, sufficient grace. Paul deals with this recognition through grace. And I want to stop, pause, and park because if it had not been for the grace of God, I would have never recognized my stuff, my fractures, my fears. Ah, my failures, I would have never recognized it had it not been for God's grace. So as we begin 2021, we need to thank God for his grace. God, send more grace. Send sufficient grace. Send amazing grace. Show me myself so I can repent of my sins. That is... We need a new mindset, a new mission for a new mindset going into the new year. And it's through God's grace that we can recognize not somebody else's baggage. We can recognize our own baggage. That's why the, uh, Paul in Ephesians 2 said, And you who were dead. Dead men walking in trespasses and sins hath he now quickened and made alive. What a God. What a gracious God. What a loving God. What a, 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 a man. What, a, what, a, what, a, what, a, what an awesome God we serve. He deals with God's grace helping us to recognize our faults and failures, but Amen. He also, secondly, through God's goodness, Lord have mercy, we are released by faith from fractures and fears. Goodness. Romans says it's the goodness of God that leads men to repentance, not hellfire. It's when I think about the goodness of Jesus and all oh, he's done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. I thank God for saving me. And as we go into this new year, we're looking for not, not only God's grace, but God's goodness. Lord, you've been good. Even through 2019, 2020, you, you've been so good to me and my family. You've been good in ordering my steps. You've been good in rescuing me. You've given me recognition of grace. Now, Lord God, you're releasing me through your goodness. What a God. It's God's goodness, listen, that allows a release from my sin. Now, we, we all have had our sins from the world. We were addicted to sin. 
We love sin. We like sin. We walk with sin. We slept by sin. We, we operated in sin. You know how God released you? Through his goodness. God allowed you to see how good he was. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good in his mercy. Not giving us what we do deserve, endureth forever. And let the redeem those that have been blood bought, blood washed, born again. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. It's only the goodness of God that we even hear. It's only the goodness of God that we woke up this morning. It's only the goodness of God. Uh, uh, Paul, uh, 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 Jeremiah says in Lamentations, amen, for his mercies, listen to this, are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. God is faithful. God is faithful. God is faithful. Even in our difficult times, he has released us from habitual sin. He has released us from mental anguish. He has released us from slavery. He has released us from murmuring. He has released us in spite of us. God has, by grace, by goodness, released us. We are free. And if the Son have made you free, you're free indeed. God has released me from Satan's sin and myself. No, I can understand Satan. Thank God for releasing me from Satan, the power of Satan, the power of darkness. Thank God for releasing me from my inward sin, my nature of sin. But God, thank you for releasing me from myself. We were in a tug of war. You were pulling for righteousness. I was pulling for unrighteousness. You won the battle. Thank you for all of your release as we go into this new year. I need a new mission, a new mind, a new movement within me. No resolutions, no promises, no pledges. Lord, I just fall prostrate before your presence. I need you to take control of me. I'm wounded. I'm weak. I'm weary. I'm worn out. There's nothing in me worthy of me even calling your name. But God, it's your goodness. Every time I mess up, your goodness shows up. Every time I have a need, your goodness shows up. Every time I want to throw the towel in, your goodness shows up this writer to the Galatians tells us in that familiar scripture of uh, Galatians 5 1 standing fast in the liberty wherewith Christ have made you free and be not again entangled listen in the yoke of bondage we can stand fast because of the freedom we have in Jesus Christ. When we believe that he died for our sins in our place, substitutionary offering, sacrificial offering, when he died for us and was buried and rose again the third day, he made us free. Free from the uh, penalty of sin. I'm not going to hell. Free, I'm being freed from the power of sin. Sin does not have dominion over me. And one day I'll be free from the presence of of sin, Jesus will snatch me up into glory. And listen to this. Galatians deals with this matter of grace and goodness. Grace and goodness. Grace, love we don't deserve, and goodness from a good God. But our final point here is through God's glory, we are to rejoice. Now, now I want you to pay attention to the alliteration of these R's. Yeah, through God's grace, we recognize just how wounded we are. Through God's goodness, we are released from that which hinders us. But through God's glory, we ought to rejoice. 
and by faith knowing that God will renew, here it is, our minds and our hearts through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. That, that is, we, we rejoice because of who he is, his person. Jesus is King of kings and Lord of lords, the only true and living God. Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God. We're talking about glory. Glory belongs to God, not to us. It's his glory that God permeates into our minds. Thank you, Jesus. That as we begin to look at our brokenness, our bitterness, our living backward lives, we can attest Three words, grace, goodness, and glory. Recognition, release, rejoicing. I don't see any adjective in there where I can name it and claim it. Any adjective in there that I can work for something. No, 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 no. You pull back, you recognize how bad you are. You recognize how messed up you are. And then you thrust yourself onto God in mercy. And then God releases you and he releases the power against you, from you, through you, with you, for you, and then you rejoice by faith. Lord, I'm in knots right now, but by faith I'm going to rejoice. Lord, I don't know what 2021 holds, I've been to Helen back in 2020, but I'm going to believe your word. I'm going to recognize, have a release, and I'm going to rejoice. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Rejoice in everything, give thanks. Rejoice. Count it all joy when you go through bitter trials and tribulations, temptations, for the fire testing of your faith is working patience. No resolutions, no pledges, no pleas. Fall on this pity. Lord, I need your pity to program a power base in me. I need to be still and know that you're God. And in 2021, we can say, Happy New Year! Because our God is able to do far, exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think to the only wise God. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Lord, in 2021, I'm going to have a new day. I'm going to have a new recognition of who you are. A new release from what held me down, here it is, the new rejoicing of where you're taking me. I'm walking by faith, I'm living by faith, I'm believing by faith, I'm secure by faith, I'm, pra I'm praising you by faith. It's all by faith. For the just ones shall live by their faith. And faith is the substance of things Hope for the evidence of things not seen. As we go into this new year, think about what I said. Think about what I said. Grace, goodness, glory. Not a pledge. Not a proposed resolution. But grace. Lord, I need your grace. God's riches at Christ's expense. I need your grace so that I can recognize how deep and dark I am. I need your grace so that I can release the things that hold me hostage. I need your grace so I can rejoice in you, the God of my salvation. And if you do this, you will have a victorious 2021. 
because you're trusting him and him alone. Happy New Year. Have a great day. We love you.